uh, rechargeable flashlights and rechargeable lamps. The batteries, the batteries are weak or dead totally. So we want to see how we can reuse them when the batteries are gone. That is what we are trying to do. I will take this as an example. This one has been worked on. So we will see what we did to make it reusable. That is what we we start to show you now. This circuit is bad. It's not working again. So the wire was is being connected directly from the LED bulbs. These bulbs. I checked it. which one is positive, which one is negative. Then the wire. See the wire. This this one of them is positive, one is negative. The wire comes out through the switch slot. Let me cover this side up. I had to get the wires, extra wires, the, the wire that comes with it uh, is not long enough. I got, I needed to get some extra length of wire. Two wires, sorry, two wires. One is positive, one is negative. So this is then I made use of a case of a bad phone, the back case with the battery space to use as my battery case. I made two holes here for the wire to come out a bit. I use this one as a switch. When I, I, that is one of the wires not joined to the end. I use rubber band to hold the case to the body of the torch.
the screws back. I'm joining the end, the cut ends to test it. I make sure this the for this very battery, lithium battery. Uh, this is the positive. This is the positive at the end, at the side, and the negative. At the, so I have. Before I tested that, before I made it, I, I positioned the wires. I made, I tested it so that the this is the positive that will match, so that they will match. The positive will match the positive, and the negative will match the negative. The negative wire to match the negative pole of the battery, and the positive end of the wire to match the positive pole of the battery. Can put some extra like paper packing to to, see, to make it stable. So that is all we have done. So when the battery when his battery runs down, the, this battery may last hours, maybe five hours or more, if you leave it on, depending on the strength of that particular battery. So and when the battery runs down, you remove it. You remove it, you take it to the, you get a desktop charger like this, you position your charger as you normally do with your phone batteries, those Nokia, especially Nokia or other similar batteries. So you plug, you plug it to the mains, you charge the battery, when it's full again, you can use it again, you can have like two or three batteries, when one is charging, you can be making use of this and this will last you. So you don't have to throw it away. You can reuse, you know, recycle all this. It costs to cut down the cost to save your exp to cut down your expenses. You don't have to go all the way getting a new one each time it runs down. So when the battery when the battery that comes with it is down, I mean this battery. These are the typical this is a typical battery that comes with such flashlight. So when it's down and it's bad, it's no longer or it's not it's weak. It's not giving a long it's no longer giving long hours of of uh, sup, of light supply again. So you can go for your normal battery, the foam battery like this. You can use other types of battery too depending on the casing you use for the battery. use these are other bad like Samsung batteries all of them but you have to get a matching casing to hold the battery to be, I mean the matching battery holder you can make you get some old phones the casing of old phones and put and do similarly what I have done here thanks very much have a nice day